Escalating tensions in the Middle East tonight. Israel's military says it has started what it calls a limited ground operation into Lebanon targeting Hezbollah and says it will be, quote, limited, but no word on how long the operation will last. CTV's Kamil Karmali with more and the urgent push to get Canadians out. A rare Israeli strike into the heart of Lebanon's capital Monday, the first in nearly 20 years. Then early Tuesday, a ball of fire near Beirut's airport. While Israel continued attacks from above, much of the focus today was on the ground. Israeli special forces launching probing missions in southern Lebanon. There is nowhere that Israel will not reach. Strongly hinting at a ground offensive Monday, drawing the ire of its allies. And I'm comfortable with them stopping. We should have a ceasefire now. Israeli tanks instead moving in large numbers in the north, while Lebanese troops pulled back from the southern border with Israel. They may feel confident that they have the upper hand and they want to press their advantage. But the militant group Hezbollah says it's ready for an Israeli ground invasion. And it'll emerge victorious, even though severely weakened, after Israeli strikes Friday took out Hezbollah's towering leader, Hassan Nasrallah. New images show the massive crater left behind from the U.S.-made bombs. The strikes after a relentless two-week campaign have left several Hezbollah commanders dead, but have also killed about 1,000 civilians and forced one million people to flee their homes, according to the Lebanese health ministry. Iran has vowed revenge, its president meeting Russian officials today, but a warning from Israel's prime minister. There's nowhere we will not go to protect our people and protect our country. With the backdrop of a potential all-out war breaking out in the Middle East, Canada's Minister of Foreign Affairs addressed the UN today. Canada is joining those urging Israel and Hezbollah to accept an immediate ceasefire. We need to create space for peace talks and save lives. While pressure mounts to assist the tens of thousands of Canadians still stranded in Lebanon, the Foreign Affairs Minister has now announced 800 airline seats available to Canadians who want to leave the country in the next three days. Omar. All right, Kamil, thank you.